Pathways Coordinators here in the Academic Pathways Office at Seneca. Uh, welcome to the 2024 Virtual Graduate Studies Expo. Throughout this week, we're featuring different institutions who will be showcasing their master's, graduate studies, professional programs, education programs, as well as micro credentials and graduate certificates from Seneca um, to, to students and alumni. Uh, as you know, the session that we're doing right now is with Seneca Polytechnic. Uh, so this is a great chance for you to learn about how you can build on your uh, Seneca credential and perhaps move into another uh, credential degree, um, micro credential or certificate. Uh, it's gonna be a short presentation about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, and then we will have lots of time at the end for any questions that you may have. So I'll pass it on to my colleague, Marissa, and then we'll be back for questions in a few minutes. Great, thank you so much, Jennifer. So thanks everyone for joining. Again, my name is Marissa and I am a student recruitment officer here at Seneca Polytechnic. So obviously you're all familiar with Seneca, but I am gonna be speaking a little bit about all the different things we have to offer as we do offer degree programs, graduate certificates, um, we offer micro credentials. We may also be looking at going into another diploma or advanced diploma as well. So, as you know, here at Seneca Polytechnic, we are driven by ambition. And when you listen to your ambition, you can accomplish amazing things. So, that's a, a big focus of us here at Seneca. We want to make sure we are providing a bespoke education, one that is tailored to you. And allows you to be driven by your ambition. Now, a few examples of some of our graduates. As uh, so we do have Julie, who is a graduate of our Honors Bachelor of Aviation Technology program. She is breaking barriers as the first female director of flight operations for Air Canada Jazz Aviation. Brandon is innovating the future and is reimagining the agricultural industry. He is the founder of Boreal Farms and a graduate of our Sustainable Business Management Program. And Crystal is analyzing crime and building safer communities. She is a proud diploma to degree graduate. So some of you may already have or be in the process of obtaining a Seneca diploma or advanced diploma and maybe looking at going into a Seneca degree afterwards. Just like Crystal did, she started with police foundations and then she transferred into our honors bachelor of crime and intelligence analysis. So unique to Seneca, we offer seamless pathways from Seneca diplomas into Seneca degrees. So again, here at Seneca Polytechnic, we have to focus on you. What is your ambition saying to you? Uh, we want to tailor your education to best fit your goals and your ambition. So a bit about the Seneca Polytechnic difference, again, as Seneca students, you may already be familiar with this, but we are combining the best of university and college in our polytechnic education, combining that academic rigor with that practical training. So if you are perhaps a diploma or advanced diploma student and looking at transferring into a degree, for example, our degree programs all have at least 420 hours of work integrated learning. So we're getting that practical training as well as that academic rigor. We have a focus on giving you that career exposure, whether that is through a work and trade learning opportunity, a capstone project. We wanna make sure that you're getting the opportunity to get that career exposure, be career ready, and be ready to uh, contribute in your career on day one. And we are providing those human skills for the workplace. Our industry partners and our employers have told us the importance of skills like communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and we're embedding that into all of our programs to make world-ready and career-ready graduates. So again, you're familiar with Seneca, but we are a large institution with over 60,000 students uh, from over 150 countries, over 300 programs, leading to thousands of careers. We currently have five high-tech studying campuses. We are leaders in AI and innovation, and we have over 290,000 graduates. So in terms of the programs we offer, we offer over 300 programs in 13 different areas of study that lead to thousands of careers. 
This ranges from aviation to creative arts to fashion and aesthetics, health and wellness, law and public safety, science, and more. So again, as a current or uh, current Seneca student or a graduate of Seneca, you may be familiar with some of our programs, but again, we offer over 300. So there's a lot of different options to choose from between our full-time and part-time studies. All right, so in terms of finding your fit, again, here at Seneca, we offer a wide range of programming. Now, you may currently be in undergraduate studies here at Seneca, whether that is a certificate program, diploma, or advanced diploma, or degree. So here at Seneca Polytechnic, if you are looking to transfer into a degree, we are a leader in degree pathway or into, into pathways. And we do offer three-year and four-year degree options if you are looking to advance your education. Also, in terms of graduate studies, Seneca offers graduate certificate programs. These are great programs for students looking to specialize in a certain area of study and get that practical training as a part of that program, as well as that academic rigor. Great thing about graduate certificates is that these are typically one year or less, so a nice short duration if you already have that previous post-secondary education. And now master's degrees. Seneca will soon be offering master's degree programs, both one and two year long master's degree programs in areas like AI and mental health. So keep an eye on us within the next few years, we will have those applied master's degree programs. Again, giving you that opportunity for that academic rigor and practical training all in one. Now, if you are looking at transferring over to a degree program here at Seneca, we offer a wide range of degree programs. Again, we do also offer three-year degrees. These are new to us. Uh, so those pathway opportunities are currently being built and introduced, uh, but that's a great option again for a shorter degree program. We also offer four-year degrees, which we've been offering for years. Uh, our four-year degrees and our three-year degrees provide that career exposure. They all have at least 420 hours of work integrated learning. You're going to get those small class sizes, expert faculty with industry experience, um, and again, you have those pathway options. So if you are a Seneca student coming from a diploma or advanced diploma, there are scholarship opportunities available if you are transferring over to a Seneca degree. So these are our four-year degree programs. We offer a wide range of four-year degrees and we're just adding more and more all the time. So really in a wide range of different areas of study. We do also have our three-year degrees. So again, these are quite new to us, only a couple of months old at this point. So those pathway opportunities are in the process of being built and introduced, but we do offer our three-year degrees in business administration, computer science, and cosmetic science. These are a great, another great option for getting a degree program again in a shorter amount of time than three-year programs. Now you may have a certificate, you might be looking at going into a diploma or advanced diploma with us. We do offer a wide range of diplomas or advanced diplomas, or you may already have a diploma, advanced diploma or degree with us. And you might be looking at doing another diploma or advanced diploma as well. Many of our advanced diploma programs do have that work integrated learning opportunity as well. So getting you that hands-on practical training. Again, just a quick snapshot on at those three-year advanced diplomas, as well as our two-year diploma programs. Now, graduate certificates. I mentioned these briefly before. These are designed for students who are post-secondary graduates, who have previous post-secondary education or experience, and you're looking to get that career-focused learning in a shorter duration. Graduate certificates are typically one year or less in length, and often we'll have some sort of capstone project, work integrated learning opportunity, some opportunity to get you connected with industry so you are ready to go once you've graduated from one of these programs. Our graduate certificates, many of them we do offer in a full-time delivery, but we also offer many in a part-time delivery. So if you are going into the workforce and you're looking at continuing your education with Seneca, many of our graduate certificate programs do have that part-time delivery option. So you can continue to work and continue your education. Now, these are our graduate certificates. So again, 
wide range of programs in our graduate certificates, really in most of our different areas of study. Now we do also offer micro credentials. Micro credentials, as the name says, they are short, micro, they are short burst learning opportunities to help you upskill or reskill. So it could be that perhaps for your, your career, you may just need to learn how to use a specific computer program, for example. You might look at a micro credential to get that skill. We offer over a hundred different options for micro credentials in a wide range of areas of study, again, ranging from business to fashion, to health and wellness, liberal arts, science, and more. So again, if you're looking to upskill or reskill in a short first learning opportunity, a micro credential is a wonderful option to consider. These are new programs that we have offered at Seneca over the last two years, and we continue to offer more and more programs every year. So again, always keep an eye on us, see what we're gonna be offering in the future. As I mentioned before, in the next couple of years, we're gonna start offering master's degree programs. And I'm sure there'll be more and more um, other programs being offered within the next few years as well. Now here at Seneca Polytechnic, we are leaders in pathways. We are the number one uh, in transfer pathways in Ontario. So that includes pathways to Seneca, Pathways within Seneca and pathways beyond Seneca. So those pathways within Seneca, as I mentioned before, every Seneca diploma seamlessly transfers our pathways to a Seneca degree, which is a great option. You're already familiar with us. You're already a Seneca student. Why not continue on your education with us? There are also pathways beyond Seneca. So perhaps you have gotten a diploma or advanced diploma with us, and you're looking to pathway to another institution. Seneca has um, pathway agreements with schools throughout the GTA, throughout Ontario, throughout Canada, and internationally as well. So dependent on the program you're in, there are different pathway opportunities available. Again, those pathways within Seneca provide a seamless pathway from a Seneca diploma to a Seneca degree. Now, as a Seneca student, you may be familiar with our campuses, but if not, to get a quick snapshot here of the campuses we have. We have our Newnham campus located at Finch and 404 in Toronto. We have our Seneca at York campus located at York University's Peel campus. We have our King campus located in King City in York region. And then we have our Peterborough campus. That is where you're going to find uh, your student four of our aviation degree. We have our intercampus shuttle bus. So between our uh, Newnham campus, Seneca at York and King campus, there is a free intercampus shuttle bus between those three campuses, as well as residents available at Newnham campus and King campus. So as you're already familiar with, we offer a number of different um, options for studying depending on your program, whether that's in-person delivery, hybrid delivery, online delivery, or flexible delivery. If you have a program of interest, best thing to do is go on to SenecaPolytechnic.ca, search for your program of interest, and on there, you can select the courses tab to see how your program or courses are being delivered. Now here at Seneca Polytechnic, we are focused on preparing career ready and world ready graduates. This can be done in a number of different ways, including access to career supports for life. So as a Seneca student and a Seneca graduate, you have access to our career supports throughout uh, your time at Seneca, as well as once you graduate, you have access for life. As I mentioned before, those working degree and learning opportunities, especially if you're looking at something like a graduate certificate or degree, really want to make sure that we're getting that uh, career exposure for you throughout your program. As you're already familiar with, we do have the service tab. So if you do have any questions, perhaps about transfer credit, if you're looking to go into another Seneca program uh, that maybe doesn't have a pathway, you'll want to connect with the service hub for information about questions regarding transfer credit, as well as information about things like admissions, financial aid, and more. And then of course, in terms of financial aid, we have millions of dollars worth of scholarships, bursaries, and awards available to our students. Uh, we do also have scholarships available for those entering year one, semester one of the degree program, as well as transferred or pathway scholarships available for our Seneca students pathwaying into a Seneca degree. 
And as I mentioned before, we'll already be familiar with GEOC residents at both Newnham and King Campus. So we have a lots of different ways to get involved with student life. If you haven't already during your Seneca experience, I highly recommend get involved with student life at Seneca, whether that's through the Seneca Student Federation, athletics, starting a club, anything like that. That's a key part of our experience here at Seneca. We wanna make sure you're enjoying your time, both in the classroom as well as outside the classroom. And coming in 2026, so if you are happening just within Seneca or if you're staying within Seneca, coming in 2026, we are having our new health and wellness center at the Newton campus. Now, this may be you soon if you're currently in a Seneca program and you're graduating soon, but you may become a double or triple Seneca graduate if you do pathway or continue on with a different program here at Seneca. All right, so if you do have questions, again, we're going to take a few minutes. Feel free to put those questions in the chat. But if you want to connect with me directly, please feel free to take down my contact information or scan that QR code to connect with me. I'm here to provide personalized support every step of the way. We also do provide other opportunities for advising, online advising, phone advising, or you can walk into the Newnham campus. And um, we do offer advising there for students. Uh, we do also have our open house coming up. So again, as a Seneca student, if you're already familiar with us, but if there's a new program you're looking at, I recommend still come to our open house happening on Saturday, November 30th from 9 a.m. to noon at all of our campuses. Great time to learn a bit about other programs at Seneca you may be considering. So that is it for the formal presentation for me. Thank you so much. Again, if you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. I'm going to be hanging out for a little bit longer to answer any other questions you may have. Again, if you think of questions later, please feel free to take down my contact information and connect with me by email, by phone, or scan that QR code to connect with me. And I'm more than happy to assist. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Marissa. That was great. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions about some of the different credentials that you might be looking at continuing on into, or any of those sort of scholarships, bursaries, or financial incentives that might um, that might help along the way, let us know your questions. We'll just give it a couple minutes um, to, to see those come through. Um, I'm just looking here. Do Seneca alumni have to do an English placement exam if they want to take another program? So it's going to depend on um, it depends on a number of different things. Depends on the program. Depends on um, so what the admission requirements are for that program. Um, and if you're going to a graduate certificate, there is an English language proficiency requirement. So depending on how long you've studied with Seneca, um, you may still need to show proof of English language proficiency. Um, but that's a good question to connect directly with a student recruitment officer about. Um, because again, that's something that's program specific as well as student specific. So I'm going to put my email address in the chat. Again, if anyone does want to connect with me about any like specific questions, please feel free to send me an email. We can set up a time to have a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Awesome. Um, I see another one here. Can I apply to multiple programs at the same time? So um, if you are applying as a domestic applicant to a new program on ontariocolleges.ca, yes, you can apply to multiple uh, programs on there. Now, if you are a Seneca student, uh, current Seneca student or a recent graduate, and you're looking to transfer into a Seneca degree, then there is actually an internal um, form that you fill out if you are looking to do that transfer. So that, that would just be for the one program. But if you know, you've been away from Seneca for a few years, and that's when you're looking to do a transfer or you're looking, you've been away for a few years and you're now looking at applying to another program with Seneca and you're doing it on Ontario colleges, then that allows you to apply to multiple programs. Thank you. Um, can the graduate certificate programs be completed part time? Some of them can. Um, I will actually just grab that link and put it in the chat. Uh, we do have it on our website our graduate certificates and it is broken down um, 
by which ones are offered in full-time studies and part-time studies. So I'll put that link in the chat for everyone now. Thanks. Um, see a question here. Can pursuing a degree program after graduating from a diploma program help you get into university? Um, we probably need to know when you say get into university, are you talking to a bachelor's degree or a master's program? Um, Seneca has a variety of diploma to degree pathways. So if you're in a two or three year diploma, there are a number of pathways that, that you can follow to then um, build on that diploma and then pursue a bachelor's degree in a university if that's what you're looking to do. Um, or if you pursue a honors bachelor program at Seneca, then that would qualify you to apply to master's programs within other universities, but just keeping in mind, you need to check what the admission requirements are. Um, sometimes there's specific courses or, or things that you might need. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that answers your question. If not, let us know. Um, I'm in my third, my third semester is in business administration supply chain diploma program. How can I apply for a degree? Are you referring to a degree at Seneca? I, I assume you're referring to that. Um, did you want to respond to that Marissa or did you want me to? Um, that's over here. Just one moment. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at transfer, doing a transfer to a Seneca degree, um, then that is something that can be done internally. Now, if you are looking to do a transfer, you do need to be finishing up your program if you're looking to do that transfer into a Seneca degree. Typically, classes, either at Seneca or at another institution, are free to help them to class and do the so if you're currently in the third semester of uh, the supply chain of the business administration program, if it's a three-year program, you still have a little bit before uh, you're going to be doing that transfer into a degree. But if yes, if you're looking at transferring into a Seneca degree, there is an internal process for that. If you are looking to transfer to a degree outside of Seneca, that is where our academic pathway team comes in very handy for support for that uh, that transfer. I always recommend if you are looking whatever your end goal is, work backwards. So if your end goal is to transfer to a specific university, I always recommend start out with contacting them to make sure whatever degree you um, go to transfer to, as Jennifer mentioned, you're reading those admission requirements um, and just getting the, the most correct information because ultimately whatever school you want to transfer uh, into for their degree, they're the ones who are making the final decision on if you are accepted as a student. Um, I'm seeing the, I think the question is about teachers college. So to, to answer your question, the, the admission requirement to get into teachers college or what we call a bachelor of education program, what, what you need is an, as a bachelor's degree. So it doesn't matter if your bachelor's degree is from Seneca or from a university, the requirement is a bachelor's degree. So if you're in the BCD program, which, um, you've noted here, we've had many, many students, um, uh, leave Seneca and uh, from the Bachelor of Child Development and then apply to Teachers College. We actually had two, we have York and Trent here today, their Bachelor of Education programs doing sessions for our students. So lots of different options for, for Teachers College. Um, and then I see like my colleague has just posted into the chat. We will be on campus at Newnham and Seneca at York. If you need to drop by and ask any questions next week, uh, the details are there. Um, and also just going to take this quick opportunity to let you know that us, uh, the academic pathways office, we do meet with students on a weekly basis. Um, we can do advisement appointments or you can contact us by email or phone. Um, if you have any concerns. Uh, or if you want to talk through like your situation and sort of your path, we can definitely assist with that. Um, my colleague will just pop our email address into the chat there. And then you can always reach out if you, if you want to discuss, you know, your personal situation, uh, 1 on 1. Um, 
I'm not seeing uh, any more questions come through. So uh, I think we will we'll end it there. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Marissa, for, for all those great details. Um, and thank you to all of our attendees. Uh, I, when you leave today, you've got a ton of information. You've got our contact and academic pathways. You've got Marissa's contact. There's a ton of resources. So we're here to help you. So don't, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions. Um, so we'll end the session and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Thanks everyone. Thanks.